All right, all right, all right. All right. Good morning, everybody. All right. Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Sunday morning. Central Time and DFW Sunday morning, guys. Just want to know how you guys felt about the signing yesterday. Not going to be on here too long. It's a little windy out here, so excuse me for the wind. But uh, just want to know how y'all felt about the Dallas Cowboys signing. Safety, George Ioka. First name, what's up? What's going on? Appreciate you joining me. Sunday morning, man. Sorry to bother y'all this morning, but I just felt like running my mouth a little bit. I felt like going for a walk. Got some sunshine today. Yesterday it was raining and overcast all day. Partly cloudy, sun poking out every now and then. Just wanted to holler at y'all for a minute. That's all. Walk this breakfast. I had a really good breakfast this morning. I made some waffles and eggs, bacon, sausage, grits on the side. So I'm just walking out. Cowboys fan 1973, what's up? Adrian, what's up? Paul, what's up? Appreciate y'all joining me, man. Breakfast off, that's all. I just want to know y'all's opinions about Dallas Cowboys signing George Ayoka. How y'all feel about that, man? I wanted Eric Berry and Robert Quinn. They still working on Quinn, man. They still negotiating with Quinn. They're trying to figure out what they're going to do with Quinn. Quinn is, this Quinn thing is, is more than meets the eye, guys. It's going to be something bigger with him than what we think. Uh, we talked about this on the round table. If y'all missed the round table discussion last night uh, with uh, my Cowboys family, fifth quarter Cowboys, Dallas Cowboys football news, and myself. We discussed this uh, Quinn situation, D Law situation, and uh, if y'all missed it, y'all need to go back because they it was a, a, a almost a heated topic between Fifth Quarter Cowboys and, and Football News. I, I told them they need to start their own show because they business picked up when they start running their mouths and getting into it with each other by D Law. And <laughs> so y'all need to go back and check that out, man. Roundtable from last night. I posted it last night. Uh, but yeah, we we got into a deep discussion about that. Um, it's more than Mr. Iowa Quinn, man. They they really trying to work something out. Uh, hopefully we can get them. But uh, there's some trade rumors. Trade rumors in me. Open minded. What's going on, man? I think I think he should be a decent stop. Yeah, player. Yeah, he's a, they say he can play both. He's in the he's a in the box safety as well as a uh, coverage coverage guy too. So uh, with his height, with his height six four, uh, I, I, I'm really impressed with his stature. Period, because of uh, he can stop those balls. Uh, he's a really deep threat on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, those those passes in the back of the end zone, things like that. I think he can he can really cover. Uh, he also can, can break on the ball and when he's in the box too. So uh, stop those run, be run support and things like that in the flats and stuff. But uh, I don't know. It's uh, a lot. A lot of people agree with it. A lot of us, a lot of Cowboy fans, they don't agree with it. Uh, 
I try to find the good in, in everything, you know. Uh, I try to find something positive in everything. I'm not saying he's going to be the greatest safety of all time, the greatest safety in Dallas Cowboy history, but, you know, uh, his attributes are, are okay and something that we need. Uh, we need play playmaking ability in Dallas on the defense side of the ball. That's some black last year. You know, we had a lot of missed tackles and, and uh, pass interference calls and things like that. Uh, we need to clean up some stuff if we want to go to the Super Bowl. Because what I say yesterday, fundamentals are, basic fundamentals are, uh, could, could win you a Super Bowl. Still think we should drive. Oh, yeah, they probably still going to drive to safety. Yeah, just to be competitive. They're going to draft the safety. And hell, Ioka might not even, like Football News last night said, Ioka may not even make the team. You know, it might be just for depth. Uh, still got to make the team, you know, <laughs> when when the season starts. So it's that, that, that position is up for grabs. I just call this up for grabs, man, just bottom line. Um, but, you know, it's to be determined. We'll see. T. Parker, what's going on? I don't like this. I don't like this signing. Wow. See, some people don't like. It. That's, that's that's okay. That's okay. If you don't like it, that's okay. It's that's, you know, everybody has their own opinion. Some people like it. Some people don't. I kind of like it in in ways. You know, it's not the best thing in the world, but you know, I think he'll throw a different flavor. And Chris Rashad will develop him into a a uh, a ball hawk. You got to remember, we still got Chris Rashad. At, you know, defensive court. Hopefully he'll be our defensive coordinator this year. Um, you know, so he, he can develop these guys. But I trust our front office. Yeah, we need to draft. Oh yeah, draft is gonna be, draft, they, they're they trying to, what the Dallas Cowboys I think they're trying to do is, uh, they're trying to um, make the draft as easy as po as simple as possible. That's why they're signing all these different guys, re-signing guys. Uh, we were two games away, guys, from the Super Bowl. So we didn't need to do that much. We just got to clean up some things here and there. And that means the player-wise, personnel, personnel, coaching-wise, and player-wise. Damn, Nats and shit. Uh, hey, good morning, brother. Gary Lawrence, thanks for joining, man. Barry B, what's up? Yeah, man, uh, I just thought I'd just kind of run my mouth a little bit, man. Nothing too special about the Cowboys. Beautiful. Oh, somebody bought that house. Wow. They just built it and somebody already bought it. That's good. Damn, they got that house up quick. If we get Quinn in the draft, we'll be oh yeah, we'll be fine. Draft should be draft should be simple. It should be smart, but simple. That's it. I mean we got we got a good team, guys. <laughs> we got a good team. Just think, we only lost by eight points against the Rams. I was I was talking to Law. I was on I was on live, Law's live stream uh, yesterday, last night, and he brought up a good point. He's like, "Well, hell, we we only lost by eight points. Well, they didn't blow us out. We just we didn't look like ourselves. They tired our defense out to where they couldn't make good decisions." Oh yeah, that house. Yeah, man. Oh yeah, they they been they building more now. But that house I used to uh, I did a timeline on. My boys done came outside. What are y'all doing outside? You got your shoes on? Go put your old shoes on. Put your old shoes on. Don't put your new shoes on. See what I'm talking about, y'all. <laughs> Just bought them some damn fresh Nikes from the outlet yesterday and they got them on our side. Kids, man. But yeah, guys, we were two games, we're good. We are good. We were two games away uh, from the Super Bowl last year. And you know, we, we're just, I'm telling you, um, we're, we, we're there. We just gotta clean up some stuff. Uh, discipline, discipline and fundamentals are the two things that we need to work on. Uh, the Cowboys. We need to work on those things. And that's just the bottom line. We need to work on that discipline. And them boys, 85, what's going on? Brian Cruz, what's up? Christian Montgomery, y'all thanks for joining me this morning, man. Just, just kind of 
reiterating, talking about what the signing last night, how y'all feel about it. Y'all know this channel is about y'all, y'all's opinion, y'all's thoughts. Joe, we appreciate you. Yeah, man. Um, the Cowboys should have got Adrian Amon for eight million a year from Chicago. Oh, yeah, I hear a lot of people say that too. Yeah, I guess they, they did what was best, man, what they thought was best. Um, I think I gotta get something to sit down on. Where your, where your old shoes at? We, we oh, have some, can we go in the backyard? Because we need to have some fun. Now, yes. Wait a minute, guys, bear with me. Don't ring that doorbell. Okay. Uh, let me get something, grab something. Move, move. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. All right. Now I got something to sit down on. I'm good. All right. Um, where was I at? Yeah, I just wanted to get y'all's thoughts about open minded. You know, I you, you brought him up a lot too. I gotta watch some film on him, man. See what he's all about. I don't know about too many guys coming out of this is the thing of the past. Your good Jeff Heath. <laughs> Jeff Heath knows the system, knows the scheme. Uh, Jeff Heath has some cover skills that he's lacking a little bit. Bad, hang bad angles and things like that. He reminds me of Bill Bates. Very good special teams guy. He, he would be a very good. He's a good hitter. Needs to learn how to wrap up. Fundamentals, guys. Fundamentals. Discipline can win Super Bowls. Like seriously. Uh, they can win Super Bowls. And if we if we can work on that, being disciplined, a lot of bonehead plays last season, lost us some close games. Y'all remember the Rand, Randy Gregory right before halftime? Uh, hit that guy at the last minute out of bounds or something. It was a late hit. You know, bonehead things like that, man. Just need to work on. Um last year of his deal. He's 27 years old. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's he's Jeff Heath's a good dude, but he's a little on the clumsy side too. Uh, he almost hurt himself. I, I mean, I never forget these guys not being able to wrap up. He almost hurt his hurt himself uh, one game because he didn't wrap up. Uh, he had a slight concussion. He, he still played, but he had a slight concussion. And those are things that I'm talking about. Just basic fundamental wrapping up, guys. Uh, it's just. It's not rocket science, man. Just wrap up. You know, if you're there, wrap up. Yeah, Ioka, he seems to be a good cover guy. He has the height and the length to, to stretch across the field. So uh, he, he, he'd be a good guy to, uh, you know, take those good those good angles and things. Um, hold on, let me tell my question. Right, guys sorry about that let's see what we got if we drop the safety he probably okay yeah exactly uh good good, good point keith yeah he, he wants to make the big hit yeah he shows a lot of initiative and, and his work ethic is, is pretty strong but uh he just uh he overthinks himself, overthinks routes, uh, overthinks zones, and uh, it's just things he needs to work on. And, uh, you know, that, that position is up for grabs. It just is. We need, I don't know, 76, four. yeah, 6 4, 2, 25, I think. Uh, you know, don't know if he's going to make the team, but, you know, as long as we see something different in the secondary, that's, that's okay by me. I'm okay with it, you know. I mean, I'm not mad at the signing, but I'm okay with it. He's always trying to get the ball out of state. Yeah, he, oh, I noticed that too. Great point. Great point, T. Parker. He's always trying to 
and and I, that's understandable. Trying to make a play on, you know, trying to create a turnover and things like that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But when you miss, that's the problem. That was intense. That's that's the problem, and uh, that's what that's what that's what was hurting us last year. Christmas Sean on safety's like damn chance. Yeah, big and physical. Oh yeah, and that's probably why they they signed uh, Ioka George because um, he seems pretty physical uh, in and in and outside of the box, and that's what that's what we need. Cam is a monster. Yeah, I went on with uh before the round table. I went on with Law a little bit. That was pretty fire, man. Y'all might want to check that one out too. Uh, right, right after we found out the news that we signed him, Law went live, and I went on went on his channel a little bit. His live stream went on. Y'all might want to check that out, man. Oh, fifth quarter Cowboys in the house, y'all. Hey, I told him about last night, man. That was a, a monster fire debate between you and Dallas Cowboy football news, man. Fifth quarter Cowboys. If y'all haven't subscribed, please do. Um, uh, we were talking about the D Law thing and the Queen. And only thing else I got to say is, how about them Cowboys? Yeah! I was, the, the business picked up when y'all was <laughs> debating. So uh, that was, uh, man, I loved every bit of it, man. I told him to go back and watch it, man. That was, oh, man, that was awesome. Awesome. We need more, we need, we need more live streams like that. But that's, that's, the, that's the beauty of our live streams, man. Uh, all respect. Uh, those guys are the best of friends. Even though they d disagree or agree on things, you know, they'll, they'll go back and, you know, chop it up and laugh it up afterwards. You know what I mean? That's just, the, that's the beauty of our live streams, man. Everybody's opinion matters. Everybody's opinion. Nobody, can't nobody get mad at somebody being, thinking something different. You know, you got a lot of people out there that they actually get mad because you don't agree with them and they want to fight you and all that stuff. And it's just, that's not what this is about, man. It's about winning. It's about Cowboys. It's about tradition. It's about, you know, showing love for your team, support for your team, and uh, sharing your thoughts and opinions about America's team. That's what, that's what's up. Cowboys Fly 309, what's going on, man? Appreciate you joining. Hey, I'm just chopping it up this morning, man. Nothing big. Nothing big. Jared, ah, Gerard Johnson in the house, my my big little brother. What's going on, man? What you got? Let me see what you got. He's a little bit a little better than he. Yeah. Yeah. That that's what that's what it's all about. You know, he's not a he's not a Steve Atwater or Ronnie Lott or anything like that or Rob Woodson when he transitioned from corner to safety or Charles Woodson when he transitioned from corner to safety. He's George Ilyoka, and he's an okay safety. And uh, we need Chris Richard to work his magic and turn him into a heat-seeking safety. Where's Nicholas? Y'all come back down this way. Don't run all the way down there. Yeah, man, that's that's what we need, man. So much man. We need to see the contract. Yeah, I don't know. We don't know the contract yet. I guess we'll find that out today or maybe Monday. Uh, probably Monday. They'll probably make us wait till Monday. But I just we just know it's a one-year deal. Uh, it, it could be just for depth. You know, never know. Like I keep saying over and over and over, the position is up for grabs. It's up for grabs right now. And uh, it's the best man for the team. Best man for the team. Stop ringing that door a bit. Okay. Let's see what's uh, I'm sure it's team friendly. Got what's going on? Let's move on. Oh no, they they learned their lesson, man. From <laughs> doing that, <laughs> shit. I appreciate it, T Park. Yeah, close this door. Okay, I'll stay here and you're going there. I'll close the door. Yeah, man. The wife went to uh, help uh, her grandmother's move and selling, selling her house. So they're, they're packing up and doing all that stuff. Huh? I did that. That's what I had to do last week. I had to do last Sunday. I had to lift <laughs> furniture. And, 
headboards and footboards and shit. And I'm tired, man. My job is already physical enough, so. Ayoka is a death guy. Yeah, he might be, you know. But we, we wish anybody, you got to remember, anybody that's, that, that dresses up in a cowboy uniform, that si signs on that dotted line as a cowboy, and we got to support them. I, I want him to be the next Steve Atwater, you know. I just, I wish the best for him. If he's a deaf guy, he's a deaf guy. If he turns out to be the starter, that's just the bottom line. That's what he's going to be, you know. What, who, the best man for the job. Joe Lucas, what's up, man? Best man for the job, man. So we can get on here and analyze this guy, and he's this, he's that, or I don't like him, or I like him, or I don't like him, or I love him, you know. But it's the best man for the job, and that's what being a cowboy fan is all about. Supporting whoever walks through that door and whoever's going to dress up as a cowboy and uh, just going with it. Uh-uh, come back here. Stop. DJ Cobbs, what's going on, man? Appreciate you dropping in. Yeah. Just chopping it up. Don't let that ball roll in the street. TKG, what's going on? Do you think Ayoka is an upgrade from Heath? Oh, Lord, I got that question. Uh, From looking at his highlights, I want to say, I want to go on the yes side a little bit, uh, but I don't know. I, I gotta see him. I gotta see him play on our scheme. Playing on somebody else's scheme is different. You know, you look at the highlights from another team. A guy could look great. You know, you're just looking at highlights. You don't. You're just looking at the ups. You're not really looking at the downs. When they show highlights. That means they show the best things happening to you while you're on the field performing. Uh, it's hard to say that. It's hard. That's a hard question to answer right now. Now, when training camp starts and they get some pads on, let the pads do the talking. Then we can ask that question, but right now it's kind of premature to ask that question because he's not, he hasn't dressed up, he hasn't uh, uh, went full contact with anybody yet. Junebug, hey, thanks for the super chat, man. I really do appreciate it. Appreciate you joining us on Sunday morning. I know you're probably busy, but I just thought I'd drop in and talk some cowboy stuff real quick. Just real quick, man. Nothing too big. Just to see y'all's feelings about the Ioka. Uh, George Ioka uh, signing yesterday. Don't know how much it is. Probably won't find that out until Sunday or Monday, but uh, got a year contract and everything. And uh, let's see, uh, I was upset when Bingo's out. Our safety, Roy Williams, 31. But happy he took. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yep, yep. Is the team talented enough to win a Super Bowl defensively? I think so. I, I, I want to say, yeah. I, I really do. I want to say, yeah. Um, going through what we went through last year, especially against the Rams, uh, how they tired our defense out to where they couldn't think properly. Uh, taking an ass whooping like that, uh, I, I think we should be ready this season uh, with some few additions. But uh, I, I'm going to say, yeah. I'm, I'm going to say, yeah. We probably could have done it last year, you know, but uh, we were out coached in that game. And outplayed too. Um, we didn't have an answer. We didn't have, a, have an answer for C.J. Anderson. Uh, Jared Goff's jersey was too damn clean. The uh, Hot Boys, the Hot Boys, uh, led by Demarc D. D. Law, couldn't get to uh, Jared Goff since his jersey was clean as a whistle. So we didn't have an answer for him. And uh, it, it's all about being consistent and going back to fundamentals, basic fundamentals, and. and uh, discipline and, 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 you know, consistency. That's how you win games. That's how you win Super Bowls. That's how you win important games. Oh, yeah, go, LVE going into year two. Good point, Cobbs. Yes, yes, Jalen Smith, LVE. The tackling Dutchman. Uh, these guys got some experience under their belts now, so there's no excuse. There's no excuse. Now it's, it's all in coaching and discipline. That's it. Put it in their hands. Thank you, Janine. Use Big J. What's going on? Yeah, two tight end sets. You're gonna see a lot of that this year, uh, especially with Jason Witten coming back. He's gonna be a situational guy, uh, I believe. I don't think he's gonna start. 
a lot of people panicked. They panicked when Jason Witten. They wanted to cuss people out and fight people over Jason Witten coming back. I don't know why. They start crying like little sissies when Jason Witten came back. Uh, there's nothing we can do about it. That's a grown man. He does what the fuck he wants to do. Uh, he's got a gold jacket, or he will have a gold jacket. Uh, uh, if, if he can help the team. Guys, too far. Uh, if he can help the team, um, I'm all for it. Anything that helps the team. If he hurts the team, we're going to find out about it. And I'm pretty sure the Cowboys are going to make the adjustments they need to adjust. But right now, we don't know. Uh, all we know is Jason Witten uh, was a chain mover when he was a Dallas Cowboy. He was good in the red zone. And uh, he, he moved chains. And that's what we missed. That's what we lacked last year. That's what we lacked. And uh, that's what we need this year to move those chains. And we got a lot of weapons. Not just Jason Witten. We got a lot of weapons now. We got Gallup. We got Amari Cooper. A full year. A full year with Dak and Amari Cooper together. Uh, we got Cobb. We got Hearns maybe back. Um, we got Zeke. We'll get, a, we'll get a running back, a backup running back, maybe in the draft or uh, still out of free agency. Who knows? Um, we got weapons now. We got Gerard. I mean, uh, not Gerard. We got um, uh, Blake Jarwin and, 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 and Donald Schultz. So I see a lot of two tight end situ situational sets, uh, uh, maybe for uh, for uh, running purposes, because Jason Witten's a hell of a blocker. Um, he did get a lot of false starts last year, but he's a hell of a blocker. And uh, anything that'll help, anything, anything that'll help, I'm for it. Uh, There's some right there, if you want to look at it. That, that I think Witten will get more playing time than people think. He probably will. He probably will, you know. Uh, he, only he knows his body. We don't. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure he wants to do something. He didn't come back to sit on the bench all the time. So <laughs> if you came back to, to work, you don't, you don't want to sit still. You want to work. The only way to get gets resigned if we NFC championship. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Exactly exactly right, JJ. Exactly right, man. I think we have Will McClay. Will will start. He probably will. He probably will. I think he's going to be more of a situational type. That's just my – you know, with his age and everything, his experience, he's going to be a situational guy. Jaron and Schultz are still going to get their playing time, hopefully. Now, guys, no. I'm getting the number four jersey this year. Got to show. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I started to grab a jersey. They had them on sale at the outlet, Nike outlet, uh, yesterday. But they weren't even white anymore. They were yellow. They had scratches and marks and shit all over. They still wanted $50 for them. I'm like, man, these jerseys should be free. They got marks and shit on them, and they weren't even white. They were yellow. <laughs> like, what the fuck? You know how something get old, you know, something real white that was real white once upon a time and gets old and it starts turning yellow? That's how they look, man. They were horrible. They still wanted like 50 60 bucks for them. I said, man, these jerseys would be like $20. Because the sensor. Stop messing with the garage. Leave it up. Oh. Since, since it, it must have uh, kids, man. I think Witten came back because he knows we have a Super Bowl team. Probably. You know, old school, they sit things out. You know, they, you never know. He might have, he got his reasons. Trying to run out, so that's why the sensor came out. Back after Super Bowl, yeah, man. You know these computers, man. They they got a mind of their own these days. If they don't feel like working, they oh, I guess I'll go off now. Robert Castillo, what's up, man? Appreciate you joining me, man. Is Jason Garrett gonna be a big extension? If we make it to the uh, NFC Championship or the uh, or the playoffs, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you think we can get Taylor Rapp? I don't get that question, Lucas. T. Park, what do you think our record would be? I'm hoping. I don't like to do records. I don't like to jinx things.
I would like another season like 2016. Just put it like that. That's the kind of season I want again. Unstoppable. Heart. Hard work. Consistency. Time out. I would love that. 2016 all over again. That's what I'm going to say. I'm not going to even say record. Put that back. That was Nicholas' idea. Taylor Rapp? Who, who was Taylor Rapp? <laughs> Y'all losing me. I'm going to... Say, you're your punk Sunday morning, man. Pretty days. Decided to come outside and talk a little Cowboys talk, man. That's it. Kids are outside running amok. Act like they ain't never been outside before. When I was growing up, man, it wasn't nothing better than outside. There was no internet. There was no social media. You know, we had Atari and Nintendo and stuff like that. But it was nothing better than going outside. We used to stay outside all day. Only time we came in from outside was a water break or 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 get something to eat real quick or you know, and we was right back out there. And hell, water break, we drank out of water holes. <laughs> Y'all remember that drinking out of water holes? Level fifteen. I say 11 15. Now, nah, I think we're going to win more games than that. Schedule's going to be tough, yeah. What's the weather like? Uh, I think it's like, shit, I want to say mid 60s. Uh, windy. A little cloudy, but the sun is poking out every now and then. That shit is so unpredictable. I don't even try to make, yeah, I can't stand making predictions, bro. That's bad luck. Uh -uh. I don't bet or I don't make predictions. Mm -mm. I don't do that. Never have. I bet one time I made a bet on the Cowboys years ago. This was back in 2000. It was either 99 or 2000, something around there. That's when I used to work in foot action, part-time job when I was going to school and college. And uh, I bet this guy twenty dollars. I think we played the, the they were they were the Phoenix Cardinals back then. Uh, I can't hear you. And uh, I, don't want to play with I knew we were shoe in to win. We had a better team and everything. And I'd be damned we lost that game. And I had to get that dude $20. Man, that pissed me off. I said, never again will I bet <laughs> on the Cowboys. Mike Bell. Hey, appreciate the super chat, man. Uh, Open minded. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm try to, man. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do, do some research, man. My, my schedule's so busy during the week. The only time I really get to really look and do things is on the weekend. You know, Friday, Saturday, you know, maybe a little bit on Sunday. Sunday's like a rest day for me. Run into the mailboxes. Me, immune system. Yeah, man, we used to drink from the water fountain back in the day. You want some water? Drink out the water fountain. I mean, uh, out the water hose. See, that's 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 um. Mm -mm. You want to do this full time? Nah, I can't do it full time. Mm -mm. No. No, I can't do it mid sixties here in Arlington. Oh, you in Arlington, huh? Okay, so you ain't too far away. You right there by the stadium. I'm in, I'm in Allen, man. I'm on the other side of McKinney. I mean, not Allen, uh, Anna. Anna, Texas. <laughs> I said Allen. I'm in Anna. Like I I'm in Anna, it Texas. Like I'm Austin in the house. What's up? That's what's up, man. The game I bet the Cowboys on, that was against the Cardinals. Uh, that was back in like 99 or 2000. And I bet this guy $20. I can't hear you. 
and I lost. We we had a better team. I was like, oh, we're going to win this game. Because we were winning all the other games. And we fuck around and lost, bro. Katie, Houston, Texas. Okay, yeah, I know, yeah. Chopped it up in Houston. If your channel get big enough, you may have to consider. <laughs> I know, man. It keep growing, man. Right, people like y'all, man. People like y'all help this channel grow. People like y'all, man. Yeah, uh, JJ, man, got his Johnson got his own uh, channel, guys. Y'all check him out, man. Real good dude. Real knowledgeable cat. That's my big little brother. So y'all make sure y'all subscribe to him. Check him out. Don't get in the street. Salem, Virginia, all the way from VA. What's up? Michael in the house. Almost time to do yard work, y'all. Got to press out the... It was nice not having a lot of weed eat and, and trim and edge. And, oh, man, it was so nice. Now it's... Euless. On the other side of Irving off of 183. I know where Euless is. WWE? Nah, I used to. I'll turn on them from time to time, you know. Just hoping I see one of the old wrestlers from the Attitude Era on there, but ah, it ain't the same. A drop kick, Patrick Patrick, a uh, package delivery? Never heard of that before. Post your video. No, I can't. Georgia, y'all can move thumbs down. Why? It'll be okay. It'll be fine. Don't worry. Chris Rashard will make a monster out of him, guys. Trust me. Great signing. Stop bringing that door. I know, man. It's our scooters. It's in your car. Oh, I manage my own beard myself. Yeah, I do it myself. Yeah, I should be good and tired after this, ready for a nap. Yeah, I mean, that's just, if we just signed him, man. That don't mean he gonna start. That don't mean he's gonna be the next greatest safety of all time. It's just to see how this guy's gonna do. And that's it. I mean, nothing. <laughs> let's, let's calm down. Let's pump our brakes a little bit, man. Now, if he get in there, we, we everybody that's thumbed down in the, the situation, everybody that don't like the situation, if he get in there and he's all world, then we're going to be like, oh, well, shit, I was, you know. But, you know, it is what it is, man. It's, it's depth. This, this is the depth that we need. We got to see it. The, the position is up for grabs, so you might as well sign a few people here and there to see who's going to best fit the position. That's all. He might surprise a lot of people. You never know. You always want to hope for the best. House is expensive, banana. Yeah, house is expensive everywhere. The housing market has went up and changed tremendously, rapidly. Just, like just, seriously. Just wrong. Just wrong. Just Derek, wrong. what's up, man? Just wrong. Just wrong. Robert Collins, do I think they were land? Uh, I hope so. Yeah, no. Put that back. Yeah. I hope so. Are the houses expensive in Anna? Yeah, housing expensive everywhere, man. <laughs> Shit. I remember maybe five, five to ten years ago, you could you could find a nice size home for 130, 140, maybe 150 thousand. Now it's, you can't even find a house in 100 and in 100 thousand alone anymore. They're two and up. <laughs> Shit. So the housing market is just it's just expensive now. The times have changed fast, especially here in Texas. They're around here, they're two and three, so. Shameless, I haven't seen that yet. I gotta check it out. Yeah, 
Shango, Shango's a good dude, man. I talked to him. He's on vacation right now. He's I ain't bothered him or trying to talk to him lately, but I chopped it up with him a little bit. All right, Gary, appreciate you dropping in. Dallas Cowboy Football News in the house. Gary Lawrence, Gary Lawrence, thanks, man, for dropping in, man. Appreciate you. Dallas Cowboy Football News is in the house, y'all. Great show last night on the round table. Oh, my God. I told him to go back and look at it, man. Round table. Football News, fifth quarter Cowboys. Awesome fire debate between D-Law and every all the other signings and everything. Uh, it was a great show. Probably one of the best ones I've had with them. If you haven't subscribed to Dallas Capital Football News, please do. Please do. Don Ford. Yeah, it was. Jordan Lewis or Anthony? <laughs> Anthony's a good nickel DB. Jordan Lewis is a good nickel DB. I think Jordan Lewis is a better athlete than Anthony Brown. But uh, Anthony Brown has some good qualities as a nickel DB. That's a tough question. Uh, I like to keep them both in a perfect world. I don't know. I probably have to, I probably have to go with Lewis. Anthony Brown is faster, but Lewis is, yeah. Yeah, Lewis got a little, little bit more dog in him. I don't see it. Anthony Brown. Yes. But um, Anthony Brown is great in the slot, I mean, as a nickel DB. He is. He's better. He's not that good outside corner. Right. Anthony Brown is, is way better. When they moved him to the slot, he was, he was way, uh, as a nickel DB, he was way better. Jordan Lewis is all right. Uh, I, I think a lot of these guys need the reps. It's hard to get the reps when you when you're alternating all the time. Uh-uh, don't plug that in. Fine. Put it back in the garage. That's the plug it in. That's because we need to blow these LV, LVE, 124 tackles, yeah. You see? Well, it, well, it rained last night. It rained yesterday, so it's, it's got plenty of water. Put that water hose back. Yeah, I need to do it. CJ Anderson, oh my God, another CJ Anderson question. I would love CJ Anderson to back up. But will C.J. Anderson come here? And can we afford oh, C.J. Anderson? How much money is he asking for? There's more than there's more than meets the eye with C.J. Anderson just coming in. I would love that. He'd be great behind uh, Ezekiel Elliott. But you got to think about you got to take those things into consideration. If that guy is, is uh, if, he, if he wants to be a cowboy, if he wants to come here, how much money is he asking for? You know, these guys now, these young guys are are uh, get paid first, win second. Now, so uh, as a backup. I mean, backup running back. How much are you willing to pay him? How much is he trying to get paid? You don't make that much money on the bench, you know. Ezekiel Elliott is our guy. He's going to play most of the snaps, obviously. Uh, but he does need a uh, a cushion, somebody to come in and stop him from limping around all the damn time. <laughs> Take the load off. But, yeah, I would love him here. Steve Atwater? Oh. Steve Atwater was him and Ronnie Lott. Oh my God! You know you didn't go across the middle with Steve Atwater on the field. Steve Atwater was one of the hardest hit hitters ever in football, in history of football, in history of the sport. Steve Atwater was the man. Steve Atwater knocked out his own guy in the Super Bowl for the uh, Denver Broncos. Last time the Denver Broncos won the Super Bowl. He hit so hard, he knocked out his own guy. Because <laughs> they were both going after the guy, uh, the same guy, Christian Okoye. <laughs> Steve, yeah, Christian Okoye, the Nigerian. Oh my God. He was a big dude. Laid him out. I remember that. Tell us about my shutdown corner. Oh man, I'd be all day doing that. Uh-uh. That's another time. That's another day, another show. Oh, he will. LVE be all right. So we play in a 65 league now. So there's a lot of things you can't do that you could do in the 80s and the uh, 80s and the 90s.
Bernie Sell. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty good. We need another guy that could that, that can uh kind of bring kind of the same impact as Zeke when he's on the bench getting rest. Nick. Chris Shaw pump like Jimmy Johnson. Yeah. Chris Shaw is a real coach. Draft another linebacker. Well, we gotta get somebody because uh 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 Wilson has gone to the Kansas City Chiefs. So we got we gotta pick somebody up. They'll probably draft a linebacker in the draft. Outside linebacker. Kentucky. Yeah, yeah. Jalen Smith next. Next Ray Lou. Man, that's some that's some tough shoes to fill, but let's, let's hope so. Same type of back. Yeah, we need we need somebody a little bit more powerful though. CJ Anderson fits the, the perfect description. Power back, has a little bit of speed too. Kind of like Ironhead Haywood used to be. Y'all remember Ironhead Haywood played with the San Diego Chargers? Tough to bring down. Uh, power guy. Uh, that's what we need back there behind Z. Somebody with the same style, but more powerful. Thomas Garrett, what's up? Rest in peace, who? Jason with pick up third down for that. Yeah. He moved the chains. Davis barbecue. Nah, no, where's that at? I already had died. I didn't know he passed away. Oh man. See, you learn something new every day. Golly. God bless him. Yeah, I uh, I said that last year. Slim Griffin, what's up? Uh, I said that last year, uh, this past season, matter of fact. Zach reminded me of Steve Aaron McNair. He was an ugly winner. He would throw an interception and turn right around and throw a touchdown pass. So, <laughs> uh, um, so that's that's what Zach is. You know, live with it or love it or hate it. Golly, yeah. <laughs> David, what's up, man? Appreciate you dropping in. Okay. He died about four years ago. His son played with the Steelers. Hey, after we see the video, can we can go to the park? Um, I really need to need to go in at the green park. I need the red park with the pirates. I, I think about it. Yes, we're going to the park. Hey, this is park right here. But anyway, uh, I didn't know Iron Head Way Iron Haywood Iron Head Haywood died. I didn't know that. Wow. Hmm. He was a beast though. But yeah, somebody like that man behind Z would be perfect. Perfect. But I, I don't I can't see CJ Anderson coming here. I think he probably won too much money. Because everybody pumped his head up head up after the Super Bowl, how good he was coming in for Gurley, you know. And uh, his agent is always in, in his ear. If that was the case, we would have signed him by now for cheap. So, <laughs> Cowboys ain't stupid. We would have signed him for cheap. Oh, shoot. All these baby trees around. You know you're in a new neighborhood when you don't see any trees. Trees, <laughs> look at my tree, it's still like trying to develop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Brain cancer. Oh, man. Bless him. Yeah, it was right here behind me. This house right here. They just finished it probably like a couple of months ago. I used to do a video, a time lapse video on it. Uh, every day I would come off, come off from work, and I would do a video on the progress. And uh, somebody in the comment section messed that up. They were, I forgot what they said. They said something real disrespectful, and I just like, you know what? I'm just, you know, trying to shoot something positive, and they turned into something negative, and I just stopped doing it. You know how people are, man. Hey, come back here. 
somebody always finds something wrong with something that you're doing. So I just, you know what? Okay. Okay. Ryan Haywood, I didn't know that. Okay. Jason Garrett would make a better GM than a head coach. That's a good question. I don't know. He's so nonchalant. I, I, it's hard to read him. Uh, <laughs> anybody would be a good GM uh, better than other than Jerry. <laughs> Maybe. I, I don't know. That's a good question, though. I doubt he'd want to do that, though. Just left Bosch straight. Bosch a good dude, man. Real good dude. Him and Law are the uh, the king of uh, breaking down playbooks and things. Can this dude really play? Who? George? Who? George? What? No, 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 hey! No, no, Yeah, we know. Oh, yeah, Jerry's never been a good, good GM. Randall Cobb in the slot. Oh, yeah. Randall Cobb's going to be a great slot receiver, guys. His, his yak, like fifth quarter Cowboys said last night, his yak, his yards after catch is awesome. And he's a, he's a, he's a little bit more powerful than Cole Beasley. Uh, much respect to Cole Beasley. Everything, everything he did for the Cowboys was great. But uh, his attitude just wasn't there. He, he felt like he felt like he needed the ball all the time like an outside receiver. And our offense wasn't based on a slot receiver. We were a run first offense and uh, passing was secondary for us. And I guess he just didn't understand that he wanted the ball more, he wanted to contribute more, which is, I can understand that. But the wrapping outside of the field, and, you know, off the field distractions, all that stuff. Steve Atwater, yeah. I don't think Steve Atwater was 6'4", but he was a big time hitter. Doomsday Dynasty, perfect, perfect, perfect point. Yeah, and I think he will be. He'll be a um, situational guy. Uh, hopefully, he'll make the team. Hopefully, he'll uh, he'll make the team. Still got to make the team. All these guys at the side, they still got to make the team, man. <laughs> so, you know, Cobb is uh, guaranteed, but a guy like him, they still got to get through training camp. Let the pass do the talking. George, he has good in-the-box skills and outside-the-box skills. And that, that's a plus from the highlights that I saw. But we got to see how he does in, in our scheme, in the Chris Rashad scheme. Troy Palomalo, okay. We'll see. Troy Palomalo was great. Troy, Troy Palomalo was great. Texas home, yeah. They trying to come along. They building up. They this is phase one. Out here is phase one. Then over there, on the other side, is it's flat land. There's nothing. There's nothing there. They're gonna start phase two. So it's gonna be a whole different neighborhood. We're not. <laughs> We're not going to be the only ones out here anymore. <laughs> so they they already breaking ground over there. Yeah. Ty Montgomery should be back. Be the back up. Yeah, he's pretty good too. Duke Johnson. Yeah. Everybody like Duke Johnson, man. I'm I'm hearing so much about. Him. Now nah, it's Anna, Texas, uh, Thomas Garrett. I'm, I live way out in Anna. That's on the other side of McKinney. You're too loud. Real Dallas Cowboy fan, what's up, brother? Christian Shaw, like, at the defense. Or Earl. I like Palomalo better than Earl. Jordan Lewis, he might be. 
At the, it, the position is up for grabs. Dude, dude. The position is up for grabs. I'll use it. Best man for the job. Earl Thomas is a beast though. He's pretty good when he's healthy. Thomas. He's a diva. He's a diva. He's a part of that diva crew. Anybody that want money like that before they uh, win a Super Bowl is a diva to me. <laughs> I hate to talk about it, but I went to FSU for a couple of years. Travis Michael, what's up? That's my boy right there. Yeah, Eric Berry, everybody still, you know, you got people still out there talking about Eric Berry. We should have signed Eric Berry. I'm like, all those injuries, I just, I can't, I can't see. Bring that back over here. That's not your yard. Really? Put it back in the garage. Damn. Chris Covington over Sean Lee. <laughs> 55 million for Barry only. Yeah, man. Um, I, I heard so many different things about Eric Barry uh, as far as how much of a beast he was when he's healthy. It's like, that's the key. I'm tired of talking about players when they're healthy and, and using that term after I say their name, like Sean Lee, when he's healthy. When you think about Sean Lee, you're immediately gonna say, when he's healthy, right after that. <laughs> so, uh, Sean Lee's great. He's great when he's healthy. Uh, we got Sean Lee another year. Uh, we're gonna have maybe six or seven games. Uh, hope, I mean, that's probably all we need him for. But uh, when he's healthy, he's great. We don't need too many Sean Lees on this team like that. We we already dealing with one Sean. That's enough. Hey, two Sean Lees, that's too much. And Eric Berry was another Sean Lee. I need to know who Taylor Rapp is, guys. Please, educate me. I don't mind being wrong, and I don't mind not knowing. So educate me on Taylor Rapp. Because this is the 90th person that has, that has brought up Taylor Rapp. Great rap, whatever his name is. Cedric Wilson, rookie season. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a lights out offense. Law Nation, yeah, Law Nation, yeah. He he, that's my boy. He likes him a lot. Got good things to say about him. Daddy, we need scooters. We need scooters, Daddy. Jesse Banks, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for joining me, man. So I usually don't do this on Sunday, but it's a beautiful day outside, and I got up real early this morning. I went to bed really late last night. I was on the live streams. I was on Law's live stream. I was on the. Uh, I'll get in a minute. I was on Law's live stream. I was on uh, the the uh, round table crew live stream at uh, around 10, 11 o'clock last night. So I didn't go to bed till after 12. And uh, I still got up at 6 o'clock this morning. So. VT, what's up, man? It's my twin. <laughs> yeah, that's one of them. Are you seriously, dude? Why I gotta be little, man? What's, what's that about? <laughs> I know I ain't that tall, but damn. <laughs> no. What's up, man? We need to have a little 
Yeah. Will McClay, good GM. Yeah. No, no, it's one to knock down. Yeah, Dak got a lot of good receivers. John Jones, what's up, man? Good morning. Oh, oh, my son. Oh, my bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my fault. Hey, I'm still asleep, dog. My bad. Well, are we still going to be here today? Yeah, I was on Mark Home live stream Friday. Friday night at around 8.15 Central Time. That's because she, she needs to be alone and she doesn't. So I was busy this weekend, man. I was on live streams. I did, did live streams myself. Busy. Running my mouth. I'm surprised I'm not hoarse right now because I've been running my mouth so damn much about Cowboy. Oh. Big Lewis, what's up? <laughs> I was hustling. Yeah, man, hustling on YouTube. Uh, ESPN need to call me, man. I know they be watching. They be hating. What school is the rap go to? Or is, is he attending or huh. what? How do you like Penny Hart? I don't know him either. I haven't had a chance to really do a lot of scouting on these college prospects this season. I'm gonna be honest. So all these names y'all shooting at me, I'm just gonna have to wait until uh, training camp and all that stuff to really see who's gonna shine. Get out the street. Got the AF? No. Okay. I watch it every now. It was on late last night. I watched it a little bit, but no, nah, I don't scout. Yeah. yeah, I was on there with Mark Holmes Friday, man. Pretty good, pretty cool dude, man. We chopped it up a little bit off camera too. Very nice guy, man. Very nice guy. Get away, son. I'm not going with Nick. You get away. You know how many? You know how people? Uh, You're not going to be a billionaire, son. You know? You know how people? Uh, bad talk somebody for so long and you almost start believing it until you actually talk to that person you like damn this person's cool you know mark holmes a good dude good dude i've been following him for years so i really didn't let people other people's opinions jar me away from how i felt about him you know but uh i heard a lot of you know crazy things you know and I don't see why, because he's such a nice guy. I mean, <laughs> maybe it's because he's successful at what he does on YouTube and they're trying to find something wrong with him, you know? Um, that's why I, I, I was kind of iffy about doing live streams because I didn't want nobody, you know? But uh, it is what it is. I guess that comes with the life of uh, social media nowadays. People, people comment on you and make comments on you. They don't even know you, you know? So. There's a little gap earthquake right here, but we're inside. Yeah, that's right. Hey, hey, <laughs> Arizona AF slot receiver rolls. I'm. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna check him out. I'm gonna check him out. I'm trying to do my best to check him out. There's Brian coming. Ah, oh, there's Brian still want to play, y'all. He had that one year with uh, the Saints, and he tore his damn Achilles in practice. And now he, he said he still got some, some left in the tank, so God bless him, more power to him, man. Safety first, D-line second. Hmm. Hey, stop messing with my bike. Have a blanket, y'all, my bad. I'm gonna take me a nap. I got up so early, man. Cook breakfast, man. I'm gonna take me a nap. Dez back? Nah, nah. We don't need him. God bless him. He'll always be a cowboy heart, but he did some great things for us, man. I I I love Dez. Dez was a good dude in his prime. He was he was good, but. Zeke on Jim Brown level. <laughs> I'll do respect to Jim Brown. I don't know, man. Jim, Jim, Jim Brown was one of a kind. Appreciate y'all joining me this morning, man. 
Dez is washed up, suffered the same injury. Yeah, he's uh, Dez played hurt for a long time too, and he wasn't able to be 100% on the field, so that kind of messed him up. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Dez was—he was a good talent when he first came, though. He was—he was awesome. Hey, man, let's go see that big boy. Jay, Jalen Smith hits like Mike. I gotta look up this Taylor Rap guy, man. All y'all talking about this dude like he's the. The brick. Oh, appreciate it, man. Actually, he is acting like a comic. Hmm. That's enough. Y'all ready to go in the house? No. Yeah. Just happy with him back, huh? You're dead, man. My work gets done. No, let's. Jalen Smith's brother, uh, Ryan Smith. I think he's a free agent uh, this year coming up, so. I like Rod, man. He's a meticulous cowboy in the house, man. Appreciate you joining me, brother. I like Rod Smith and everything, but he just hasn't been consistent, a consistent backup. I don't know if it's because of the lack of reps or what, but uh, he just can't hit those holes like Zeke, if you ask me. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It, Dez, the, my problem with Dez is uh, he had a hard time going down. It'd be two or three guys on him. And all that weight, that pressure, that weight, coming down on you and your ankles and joints and knees and stuff. That's how you become injured, and that's what happened. Uh, I think he got an ankle injury against the Bears, too, that, that, that season, in 2015 or something like that. Um, he wasn't the same. He just wasn't the same. He couldn't, he couldn't get those quick routes anymore. I think Michael Gallup is the new 88. He's got that same power possession ability of, of uh, uh, Des Bryant. I see I see Michael Gallup being the the next. Uh, Amari Cooper's more of a speedy, speedy receiver. DJ, fifth quarter cowboy, my boy. Uh, uh, Michael Gallup is that guy. Uh, Amari Cooper's more of a speedy, open field, I'll burn you receiver. Des was never that. Des was a I don't give a damn if you're guarding me or not. I'm going to catch the ball on you. And that's the way Michael Gallup is being molded to be, I think. I think. Let's kill this. He relied way too much on his. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. JJ, Jeff, uh, Jeff, Gerard Johnson said it best. Uh, perfect. Uh, perfect example. That's not your bike. That's his bike. Nick. That's not your bike, that's his bike. Uh, Dez relied on too much of his athleticism, his ability, his strength to catch balls on people, and that's what killed his career. Instead of being smart, like, like Jerry Rice, and really focusing on route running, like Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper is an almost, almost an excellent route runner. He has so many routes, so many juke moves. He has a knack of getting open really fast. And that's what De Dez lacked. That's why him and Dak couldn't get on the same page because Dak had to wait on him to get open. And that's that's what killed him. I don't but overall, I liked him as a, I, I him as a, as a wide receiver. And I love his passion and intensity and his red zone ability. He was a red zone threat, though. I can say Dez was a red zone threat for us. All we had to do was throw it in the corner. He'd go get it. Thanks, Joe. Get on it. Well, my bike gets a second. Oh. Oh. Ha. Yours is yours is happy. Mine gets your second. Everybody gets your second. Cowboy shit. Just retired to number 88. <laughs> I know, right? Just, re just retiring, goddamn. Yeah, Cobb might worry. What, anybody know what, what number Cobb's wearing? He might wear 88.
Put your legs down. Boy, y'all. I'm sorry, guys. My kids out here trying to ride the bikes and shit. Don't get in the street. Cobble were 18 or 11. Oh, okay. You know, it'd be messed up if you were. If you were Cole Beasley's number, oh my God. Please wear number 11. Please wear it. I would love that. If he if he takes, uh, Manuel Corrado, thanks for joining, man. Good question. If he takes heat spot, if, if, uh, I, I think he's gonna bring a, a, a nice in the box style uh, to us, because he, he can play both. He can play in the box, and he can play, uh, you might want to let the seat down a little bit, and he can, he can, uh, he's a coverage DB, too, so safety, too, and he's a good tackler. Um, those are things that we need, and he has nine interceptions in, in his career, so that, that lets you know he has some type of, some type of uh, playing on the ball experience and skills. Okay, I'll teach you. Put it back. I'll teach you later. This is the stuff. Okay, you have to teach me. Yeah, this can't go back. I can't move this pedal. Jordan Lewis will be a good trade piece to move up. You never know what they're going to do. You never know what they're going to do, man. Eighteen. He might wear eighteen. He need to wear number eleven. He need to wear Cole Beasley's number. Over under on Tyrone Crawford's game suspend. Is he suspended? Oh no! Oh no! What is this? Is Tyrone Crawford suspended, guys? Anybody heard anything on that? I doubt it. I think he's just gonna get a fine. Put them up. Put the bikes up. Being petty, I know, man. My bad. Uh, put him back in the garage, Nathan. Yeah, I think it's just gonna be a fine. It wasn't really that big of a deal. I mean, bar fights happen, club fights happen every day. Uh, it just happened to be him. <laughs> so it ain't nothing new. I think it was more self-defense, and um, that's that's it. I mean, but him being a Dallas Cowboy, y'all know how, y'all know how the NFL feels about the Dallas Cowboys. Anything to kind of hold us back and <sighs> put more drama out there. He said, thank you for having my hat on. <laughs> oh, man, you talking about my head? Man, I know I got a big round head. That's why I wear hats all the time. <laughs> Who was that? What? Who was that dude and girl on your... Oh, uh, that was my Cowboys family. That was always... Man, they're good people. They know, man. They do live streams every day, guys. They're, they're diehard Cowboy fans. Please, if you haven't subscribed to them, please do. My Cowboys family. Look them up. I'm telling you. They're awesome. You think Crawford gets suspended? I don't think so. I think he's just getting a fine. No, he's not suspended. The deal, goddamn, was suspended. All right, just because. Exactly, that's what I was saying. Just because he's a Dallas Cowboy, they'll find a reason. They'll investigate, and they'll find something real small in there to suspend him. Because he said something last night that was wrong. Hey, we're not going to, everything that comes out of our mouths is not going to be right. Nothing's in the Bible, nothing's set in stone. It's an opinion. We, we got opinionated channels, man. It's just by opinion, man. That's it. We're not trying to be right all the time. We don't mind being wrong. If I'm wrong about something, please let me know. I don't I don't care. I mean, maybe it's for the good if I'm wrong about the Cowboys. Uh that's the thing. People gotta realize that we don't play for the Cowboys. We don't, we don't, you know, we don't work for them. It's just by opinion. It's just our thoughts and opinions on what's going on, the news and everything. That's it, man. So don't take it too personal. You get what I'm saying? 
other, other defensive end we picked up. Uh, did we, I, I thought it was a defensive tackle, Covington. Uh, Chris Covington, Christopher Covington. He's pretty good, though. Uh, Covington's a good tackle. What is he, 330-something uh, pounds? Big guy. Uh, I think he's like 6'2", 6'3". He's, uh, he doesn't give up on a play. He's good on a snap. Uh, he causes disruption in the middle, and that's what we need. Him, him and Woods in the middle, oh, nasty. Yeah, yeah, he kept his nose pretty clean. He's the captain of the, of the Cowboys, so that's what I'm thinking. Put those bikes back. I'll fix that in a minute. Put it back. Oh, God. Xavier Woods or Earl Thomas? X Woods, because I, I know he's going to be healthy and he's younger. And you, he, you can develop him into an Earl Thomas. Oh, Hyder, that's right. I forgot we signed Hyder from the from the uh, Detroit Lions, right? Yeah, I saw his highlights, man. He looked pretty good too. I think he did. Wasn't that the guy that hurt his tore his Achilles uh, two years ago, 2017 or something like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, I forgot about him. I'm sorry. Thanks for bringing him up. Appreciate that, Milton Green. I don't know, man. I gotta, I gotta do, I gotta watch some more film on Hyder. But I know the film that I saw. He looked pretty good, man, as a defensive end. Uh, maybe I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't think they're sold on him. Maybe that's probably why they're looking for Quinn too. And that's what scares me about D. Law. I don't want to get into D. Law, but that's what scares me about D. Law. It's something, it's something more than meets the eye with this Quinn and D. Law situation. I'm, trust me, guys. I'm, I'm serious. I don't even want to say anything to jinx anything, but. I got, I got, a, I got a bad feeling about, about this, about this situation. Something, something's up. Something's up. They working on something. They're always working, guys. You got to remember. Just because we don't hear anything, look. Just yesterday, I was doing a live stream. I was outside doing a live stream yesterday, and right when I, right when I walked in, right before I walked in, uh, the guys, my guys in the comment section were saying, "Oh, we signed George uh, Ilyoka. We signed George Ilyoka." And I had to go in there and see for myself, and we did. And I was like, wow. So you just never know when something's going to. Yeah, it's windy out here, man. I'm sorry, bro. It's windy as hell. I tried to get it right here so I can. Yeah, something is up, man. They working on something. Yeah, getting all these defensive ends and stuff like that, man. Yep. 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 Yep, it is, man. It is, bro. Rodimus, what's going on, man? Just chopping it up a little bit. I'm probably about to get off in a little bit, man. I gotta take me. I got up so early. I was up. I was up late last night, and I'm. I'm I was up. Still, still woke up at six o'clock. Pay D Law. Hell, they already paying him. They paying him twenty million a year. Yeah, it is, man. Something is going, something is rotting in Denmark. <laughs> How do I feel about the signing yesterday? Uh, it's okay. I mean, it is what it is. Depth, uh, the position is up for grabs. So um, we all got to see how it irons out. Everybody's seen the highlights on this guy. Uh, he's good in the box, in and out of the box safety. Uh, 6'4", 225. Uh, he can stretch the field. Uh, he can stop the deep threat, the deep pass. 
um, he can um, cover cover the field as well. And uh, I, I think he's a good addition. That's just me personally. I just think he's a good addition. But he still's got he still got to get through training camp and make the team. So I don't know the position's up for grab. Best man for the job. That's all I say. But good depth though. One year deal. I don't know. I don't know for how much. I guess we'll find that out today or tomorrow. Big Steven at water. <laughs> What do you think we'll wind up getting from the draft or what do you, or am I going to Mark home for some way? No, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. If he bring him here, I know he said he's going to one of the Dallas games here. So I was, was going to try to meet up with him this season. Amari Cooper is like Jerry Rice. Hmm. Greatest of all time, Jerry Rice. I think they, like, they, they can, Tank need to come down a little bit, man. They need to give him, like, 18. They need to give him by 18. Because 25, no, nah, too much. Too much, man. Jeff Heat, Bill Bay. Yep, I said that. Right, Jeff Heat, Bill Bates. Yep, just like Bill Bates, man. Eighteen to twenty per year. Yeah, that's what I say. Not twenty-five. Open minded say the same thing. And that's pushing it. Yeah, 22, that's pushing it, man. 18 to 20, man. Just just work something out, man. Work something out. If he wants to be a cowboy. Um, I hate to I hate to touch on this subject again, but we talked about this last night at the round table. Real heated discussion between um fifth quarter cowboys and Dallas Cowboy Football News. Y'all need to go back and watch that, man. I'm telling you, they got heated. But they best friends, so it was all in fun. Uh, they, they weren't trying to shoot up each other's house or anything because they disagreed on the Cowboys, like a lot of people do. <laughs> but uh, uh, we talked about this last night, man. And, um, uh, you know, we won't deal all the state, but, you know, they need to lower their price a little bit. Uh, nobody's bigger than the team. Uh, this guy uh, is, is, should have had his soldier, uh, shoulder surgery by now. Takes about two to three months to heal, come back from. So that means him missing training camp and all that stuff and coming right just in time for the season. Um, if he plays for the Cowboys or not, uh, you still got to get that surgery because this is your job. This is what you do for a living. This is how you make your money, your millions of dollars for your family and yourself. And uh, you want to be 100% uh, for what you do. And I think him holding, uh, not getting the surgery is kind of selfish, you know. But I, I don't knock nobody trying to get their money. I get it, you know. But uh, we haven't won any Super Bowls. You haven't led us to any Super Bowls. The defense doesn't revolve around one guy. It's 11 guys on the field out there. Uh, this is the same guy that's a part of the Hot Boys. This is the same guy that had the T-shirt on talking about show me the money uh, and not thinking about his teammates. This is the same guy that didn't show up in the Super Bowl, like I just said, um, um, if he was double teamed or not, you know, whatever, uh, when we needed him the most. So, uh, but yeah, that, that's just my two cents on it. Y'all use it wisely. I need to sweep out here. Wendy, is leaves blowing up in here and shit. Get to a Super Bowl. I hope so, man. <laughs> I don't want to make it racial, but... I just hope we get to the Super Bowl period. Zeke, another Emma Smith. <laughs> that win is crucial, man.
That wind is a beast today. Yeah. That's why they haven't, you know, and I, he didn't, uh, he didn't accept that, uh, I don't think he accepted that, uh, I don't think we accepted, I don't think he accepted that, uh, franchise tag. He, he, he said that was disrespectful or something like that. Skip Bayless like that. Skip Bayless don't like nobody in the cowboy uniform. So we signed him. Signed who? We signed. No, we didn't sign D-Law yet. Uh, they, they tried to put the franchise tag on him, but that was about it. Oh, another thing. Uh, my Cowboys family brought up a good point last night on the round table. That's why y'all need to go back and watch it. Uh, they said, everybody keeps saying trade D-Law. Trade D-Law for a first or second round pick. D-Law still needs surgery. Other teams see that. He's not, his value has gone down because of that, him not getting surgery. Aaron Castillo, what's up, man? Uh, you get what I'm saying? They see that he doesn't have that surgery yet, and it's going to take time for if he, when he does, if and when he does get it, it's going to take time for him to heal, you know, and his value has gone down. So you got to think about that part of it, too. Oh, George? Yeah, yeah, we signed George last night. Uh, One-year deal. Depth, 6'4", 225. In and out of the box safety. See what happens. See what it do with him. Positions up for grab, like I keep saying over and over. Best man for the job. Yeah, somebody will sign him, you know, but... I think he's messing up his value with his attitude. You know, show me the money and all that stuff. And, you know, uh, winning pacifies greed. I've said this before. Winning pacifies greed. You don't see it in the New England Patriots players talking like this, talking about show me the money. I need to get paid. I need this. I need that. Because they're winning Super Bowls. You got players taking pay cuts over there. Tom Brady taking pay cuts and stuff. They're winning championships. They're either close or they're in the Super Bowl every year. Uh, winning pacifies greed. If we, if we were winning Super Bowls, none of these players, we would still have Cole Beasley. We would still, you know, you get what I'm saying? So <laughs> winning pacifies greed. Players don't get greedy until they see other players or they, they got free agent, I mean, uh, agents in their heads and stuff like that talking about show me the money. They need to get their 6% and all that stuff. Winning pacifies greed. Get those cars, Nathan. Oh, that would stop. I'm about to go in, guys. Uh, guys, y'all get ready to go in, clean up. This is Zeke Meyer, new triplets. Yeah, of course. I can see that. The new triplets. Yeah, winning winning is first. And that's what that's, that's the way it should be. Traditional football. That's the way it should be. Winning first. All these prima donna players, man. These 65 players, man, they want all this big time money because they own these commercials and stuff like that. They got agents and stuff pumping their heads up and you know. And they'll play a couple of games and they'll get hurt and they'll hold out and all that stuff. And they ain't won a Super Bowl. And it just blows my mind, man. This, this new generation of players, man, athlete, they want to get paid first and win second. Kind of like shoot first and ask questions second. That's, that's the model of the NFL now. Who could be the highest paid player at, at what position? Back in the day, Emmitt Smith held out because we won a Super Bowl and he led the lead in rushing and, and touchdowns too. And Barry Sanders, I keep using this example, but it's a perfect example. Barry Sanders was the highest paid running back. Barry, Emmitt Smith was like, wait a minute, we just won a Super Bowl. I just led this team to a Super Bowl. I'm the leading rusher this year, having the most touchdowns. And Barry Sanders is the highest paid running back? No, man, show me the money. He won a Super Bowl. He deserved to, to do that. He could do that. <laughs> 
agents, social media, all that shit is, is the problem with the NFL today. Doing some so fast off the edge. Now I know, right? That should be in the clause. That should be in the contract. Like you have to win so many games or you have to win, get to the NFC championship or or get to a championship game in order to this door is locked. Go through the garage. So niggas. Taco what? has no desire to get better. You know, Taco seems like the type of guy that'll give up. If if things ain't going his way, oh, I'm just gonna give up. That's what I saw in Taco last year. Like seriously. On the sideline, just pouting and moping, like, oh, well, you know, shoot. I don't know if that's because he's young or whatever, got that young folk men mentality. But Taco seemed like that type that'll just give up. Kind of like, uh, I know it's a different different sport, but Dwight Howard. Y'all know Dwight Howard? When he first came to the NBA, I had this, he was a beast. He was winning dunk contests, jumping from the damn three-point line, all that shit. And I just thought he was going to be uh, the next good big-time center. Uh, in the NBA, and he just gave up. He just like, oh well, I'm just gonna do as good as I want to be, be as good as I want to be. Just crazy, man. And that's what that's what Taco I think is acting like, man. He's got a lot of potential, man, but his 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 mind ain't there. And that's what makes him soft. Don't do that. Put that back. Yeah, I, yeah. Nine, that's what that's what turned me on to uh, the George Ioka signing was the nine INTs. Everybody else that they were talking to, all the other uh, E2 Blue in the house, guys. E2 Blue Entertainment is in the house. If y'all haven't subscribed to him, please do. Cool guy, knowledgeable guy, diehard cowboy fan. Go subscribe to him right now, goddammit. But it, like I was saying, uh, when they signed, when I when I heard about the George Ioka signing. What surprised me on his resume was the nine interceptions. Every other jabroni that they were talking to, Eric Berry, all these other guys, I didn't see interceptions on the resume. I saw tackles and all that stuff. It was cool, forced fumbles. I didn't see any interceptions. You need interceptions to win ball games. You need playmakers on the defenses, guys. You can't win ball games without playmakers on the defense. That's what I saw. I'm not saying that Ioka is going to be the greatest safety of all time. He's going to be the next Steve Atwater or Ronnie Lott or Darren Woodson or something like that. But I think he can, if if coached right by uh, Chris Rashad, I think in Chris Rashad's uh, scheme, he can be a dominant safety. He can mold him into be a dominant safety. But it's all to be determined. We don't know yet. We got to see him in pads. We got to let the pads do the talking. Like I always say, let the pads do the talking. Yes, man. Yes, yes, yes. I usually don't do this on Sunday, man, but I just, like I say, I just come out here and chop it up a little bit. Hell, I've been on for an hour and 30 minutes. I didn't think I'd be on this long, but all these fans coming here asking questions, talking about cowboys, just help me, man. Help me, help me, help me hostage. They got me hostage on, on YouTube Live. Slight upgrade from heat. Yeah, that's right. I don't care. <laughs> Shit. I don't care who out there, man. If I'm wrong about somebody, I don't care as long as we win a Super Bowl. Dez ain't coming. Nah, Dez ain't coming to Dallas, man. Dez done. Dez, Dez probably got one, maybe two more years left him with another team. Not Dallas. God bless him. He's done a lot of good things for us, but nah. Dez is the pass for Dallas. Texas to Cali. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Good. I I'll be looking forward to it, bro. Travis, I'll be looking forward to that, man. For sure. You seem like a pretty smart dude, man. Every time you come over here, you ask some good questions and good topics and things like that. So Michael Gallup. Oh yeah. I think Michael Gallup would have a, a, a very good season. A very good season this year. 
I, I called Michael Gallup. Put that back. I called Michael Gallup the next day. Yeah. yeah, it is. Oh, no problem, bro. It is hard to come back from Achilles being a wide receiver because you got to make a lot of cuts and jukes and stuff going into routes. You know, the cost of living is uh, a lot. The top, cost of living is really high in California. I have family up in uh, in San Francisco. They stayed in Runner Park right outside of uh, San Francisco. And uh, the cost of living is high, very high in, in, in California. Stars of the boys, what's up? Uh, it's crazy. <laughs> That's why a lot of Californians are, are moving to Texas because the cost of living is going up, but it's here, but it's still cheaper than California. Shit, <laughs> California's really, California, Arizona, they're high. Oh my God. In the Bay Area. Yeah. Yeah, my, my I had a great uncle, Uncle Paul. He lived in, he was in his wife. They, they, they passed on, but uh, they lived in Rona Park. And it was a very expensive neighborhood. And we used to go to San Francisco every summer and visit them. and slide down to uh, Anaheim to go to Disneyland and stuff like that. That was like six hours or whatever driving or sometimes we would fly, so uh, pretty cool, man. But he was a, uh, my uncle, he was an industrial engineer, so they could afford to live that lifestyle. And his wife, my aunt, she owned like two or three beauty, beauty shops, so they had money, so they were able to have I been to Denver? Nah, I haven't been to Denver. I wish my wife would move from California to Texas. You know? Tic Tac Cow. Oh yeah, he have a great, he have a good season this year. Las Vegas is cheap. High living. I thought I thought it was pretty. Uh, Denver cost of living was pretty high too. I pay seventeen hundred for one bedroom. Woo! See? Whew. Yeah. That's that's high. It's crazy, man. But the cost of living is going up everywhere, though. Oh my gosh! Cheap. Yeah, that's good. Time, oh, you clean. Oh, but, oh man, you got a lot done, dog. <laughs> yeah, that's true, man. Getting high here in Tennessee. You know, my mom's uh, she lived in Tennessee for a while, she stayed in Clarksville, it's right outside Nashville. She stayed, she stayed there for about almost 15 years, I think, that she moved back here and then she lived here for about maybe three to five years and then she passed. She passed, and I lost her in 2016. So, uh, it's getting high everywhere, man. Who is George in what position? Uh, George Safety out of uh, Minnesota and Cincinnati. Played his best games in Cincinnati. What? But uh, got a, he's, a, he's a free safety in, in and out of the box. Pretty good guy. Depth. See what happens with him. Yeah, Clarksville is a college in a military town. Exactly right. Exactly right. My brother was uh, in the military, uh, in the army. He was stationed in uh, Fort Campbell, Kentucky. And Fort Campbell, Kentucky is right there. The state line is right there by Clarksville, so. The hardest position to play in sports. Shit, that's a tough one, dog. 
quarterback is pretty tough. Because you got to be a leader on and off the field. You got to make good decisions. And you're the captain of the whole team. Whatever decisions you make is in, in your team's hands. I mean, in your hands. Uh, That's what my channel is about, man. It's about y'all's opinion. Everybody's not going to agree on everything the same. So it's, it's okay to be have a different opinion. That was like 2002, and it was a lot cheaper than Texas. And I, man, I was like, woo, right now if I had, oh, I'd be rich. <laughs> you crazy, man. Rick, you crazy. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna do a lot of barbecuing uh, this summer. Uh, I'm gonna really get into it. I'm gonna get me a nice barbecue grill, and I'm gonna really barbecue this summer. Time machine, I know it, man. Three ninety nine. Oh my God, that was beautiful. But see, that, that lets you know how how much time has changed. I thought that was high. I was like, man, three ninety nine. Oh, I can't. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna go broke. <laughs> My mortgage so damn high, man. Yeah, I'm born and raised in Dallas. Bring the meat and drinks. <laughs> nah, I don't live in Dallas, man. I live in Anna. Anna, Texas. It's on the other side of McKinney. David Irvin. Oh, Lord. Poor baby. Bless his heart. No comment. <laughs> Shit. All into Agtown in the house. Arlington used to be cheap. Matter of fact, I got my first apartment in Arlington when I was, yeah, I got my first apartment in Arlington a long time ago. Uh, Arlington was really cheap. Then they moved that stadium. <laughs> they, when they got that stadium out there, they like, it cost of living went up quick. Is it cheap in Dallas? Depending on what part of Dallas. Not really, because you're paying state taxes and all that shit added on, so not really. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go to a game this year. I didn't get to go to one last year, but I'm gonna try to go to a game this year. Because I was moving last year, moving here. It wasn't, it wasn't in the budget. I was moving, I was moving out here, so I had to kind of adjust to living expenses and commute and all that stuff. Man, I, I gotta, I gotta, man, I gotta learn, man. I'm gonna learn how to really put some meat on the grill and really get at it. Sheila, I hope you go to a game. Yeah, I hope I go to a game, man. I'm, I'm gonna try to. I know Mark was talking about meeting up. Randy Gregory, oh, Lord. Bless his heart. Daddy, that door How far is San Antonio? I think San Antonio is three to four hours. Like like Houston. Houston is three to four hours too. Alexis, stop the bike. Oh wow. That's pretty good. Good in 2008. Okay. That ain't bad. Man, I wish my <laughs> man, <laughs> shit, I wish mine was that cheap, Lord. But you adjust to it, you know. The, the higher to go, you will adjust. You will adjust to it. Oh, it is on. Wow. 
from the Louisiana Comic Fan. Oh, Lord. There's some, there's some Saints fans here, but we got a lot of Saints fans. Ever since, uh, especially ever since after Hurricane Katrina, we got a lot of uh, New Orleans uh, people come here. They still live here because they got family here because New Orleans is right there. Uh, it takes two hours to get to Shreveport, uh, get to the boat. And um, we got a lot of Saints fans here. So when we played, when the Saints came in town and we whooped that ass, the days before that, they had Saints flags on their car. They were talking about who they had and all that crap. But uh, we handed them their asses and we didn't, they, them, them flags came down quick. <laughs> Shit. Guys, I'm gonna get on off here, man. I've been, I gotta go get my nap in, guys. I'm tired as hell. I am tired. Pretty cool, man. I ain't got I ain't got nothing against New Orleans. They pretty cool people. They they support their team too. But just let me get out of here, guys, man. I appreciate y'all chopping it up with me. Going back in this house, get my nap in. Y'all know how I'm about my naps. I gotta get my naps. I gotta get my power. That's how I get my power. That's what it's all about, though. You too, Sheila. Hey, man, y'all take care, man. Take care. I'll probably get on later on. I don't know. I'll for sure get on, you know, tomorrow, Monday. Four down. No, one down, four to go. <laughs> y'all know how I do it. But make sure you stay cowboyed up and prayed up, man, because you never know what the day is going to bring you. Holler back at your boy. I'm out.